Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am Ollie Matthews, health coach for some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. And a topic that has come up with me over and over again, based on the fact that we go into nutrition with clients, we go into training with clients, but I also am licensed in nutritional therapy and practice functional medicine. And that can easily lead this conversation down, down, down a rabbit hole. I see so many people wanting to massively overcomplicate things that really we do not need to do. I mean, yes, we heard of the uh, the example of Team Sky back in the day with Dave Brailsford that looks for these incremental increases of moving forward, of having 1% gains over and over and over again, and we get this compounded effect. Yes, we definitely do want that, but first off, we have to look at what is actually going on and what can we actually do to improve on those foundations. Because it's all well and good that we are looking to get the most extravagant decoration in our bedrooms, in our kitchens, in our living rooms, but if we haven't built the foundations to our house, then that building is not going to be steady. And yeah, we can have these decorations, we can have all the good utensils, we can have all the good appliances and everything else in those rooms but those foundations get rocked and the house falls down what is the point it is just a waste of money a waste of time and we need to make sure those foundations are absolutely solid and it's a bit like one of my goals one of my goals is to climb mount everest in fact it's probably the biggest goal i have on my 47th birthday which if you know anything about me my dad died from a stroke almost instantly at 47 years old and my birthday is on the 21st of May, which is prime climbing season. So all the things I want to do now have to link up to hitting that goal. But I digress, because climbing Mount Everest is exactly what you want to do with your health goals. No, I don't mean you're definitely going to climb the highest mountain in the world or anything like that. But simply, we know that we have to acclimatize at base camp. So when people look to climb Everest, they push forward, they trek to base camp, which takes around 12 days, and they acclimatize there, which could be a couple of weeks. And then from there, they do rotations. They go up to camp one, acclimatize, come back down, recover, let their body normalize once again, go up to camp two, down, camp three, and either down, or they go up to camp four in the death zone and then have a summer attempt. But those foundations are built right there and then at base camp. Now, I had a conversation with a client this morning and we were talking about EMFs, electromagnetic fields. We were talking about different potential uh, areas where we could add some biohacking into the mix. We were talking about things like chemical exposures. We were talking about the timing of when he trains, the timing of when he eats, and all these different aspects, which are great things in themselves. Yes, if you have exposure to chemicals at even a basic level for a consistent period of time, it has that compound effect that allows that chemical to have much more of an impact on your body than it would normally have done and can be actually very dangerous. So yes, we do want to look at those. The compounded effect of EMFs over time definitely will impact your body. So yes, we do want to look at those. But before we look into those things, into a deeper aspect, we have to look at what can we do to have those basic gains, those basic results, to have that big basic return over and over again. And some of these things are going to be things like get into bed a consistent time, a healthy time, like 10.30 p.m., 11 p.m., and waking up eight hours later consistently. Not one day going to bed at 11, one day going to bed at 10, the next day going to bed at 2 a.m. Consistently having the same bedtime over and over again, including the weekends, we need to make sure that we are being consistent with these times. And the same goes for waking up. Our body likes consistency. Our body likes routine. That goes similar for your meal times. Yes, there's going to be some differentiation. You're not going to have exactly on midday where you have your lunch or exactly at 6 p.m. every single day. But the more consistent you can be with your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, your meal times, the better your body is going to be able to produce the nutrients or the digestive enzymes it needs in order to get the nutrients out from those foods and get them to the rest of the body where it's going to be able to do the good. The same with those sleep times. 
The same with the hormones it has to produce to get you to sleep, to get you to wake up, to get you digesting your food, to get you feeling good. So we want to focus on those sorts of things and also things like training intensity. Are we going too hard? Do we need to train so hard? Can we ease off? A lot of my clients will train two, three times a week and still get amazing results because we are looking at their body, their schedule, their routine, their family as an overall picture. And we want to make sure that those stress levels, their relationships, their work, all these different stress levels add to that picture. So if we go and smash training or look at these complicated training methods that we're going to do all these set structures, we're going to do all these rep structures, we're going to do all these different complicated routines, it's kind of pointless because then they can't stick to everything else. And there's this massive, massive amount of stress that kind of overloads the body. So when you are looking into your routines, have a look. How can you simplify it? It's one of the most complicated things you can do, simplifying your routine. How can you take out that crap and make sure that every single thing you do in your routine allows you to push forward towards your goal? And some of the times it's having a simple word with yourself that am I trying to overcomplicate it? And one of those things that overcomplicating does allows you to procrastinate which is kind of easy to do, and a lot of people seem to do. Simply, what is the simplest thing you can do to move forward towards your goal? Take that step and do that step consistently over and over again. If you need help with this, you know exactly where I am. Go to ojhealth.com, put in the comments, put in the message, drop me a message. Simply get in contact with me and we will chat to see what is the basic, basic thing you can do to have the biggest return for your health. Because remember, your body is your business. Without a sustainable body, you have no such thing as a sustainable or scalable business. So it's something which you probably, no, you definitely want to get sorted today. Look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.